When you have more value, the world sees you as more valuable as well. You don't have to know your purpose in life. You don't have to know your reason for existing, your why, what you want to do for the rest of your life. You can do all the right things but still lose in the end. If you're not okay with how this universe works, this world works, go make your own. Exactly. And there's so much more. In the heart I'm feeling, so you know how I'm feeling inside, this video will change your entire life if you let it. If you let it change your entire life, it will change your entire life. I promise you because it has changed my entire life. And I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step guide to doing so. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bahja. If this is your first time seeing my face, then hi, welcome. And if you've been here before, like always, welcome back. It's been a while since I did a video like this, so I'm extremely excited. I want you to understand one thing. Time does not wait for anyone. Time will keep doing what it's doing. The days, the months, the years, they will pass. And one day, 20 years from now, you're gonna wake up and think, what the hell have I done with my life? How did I get here and who am I? It turns out that you left your future up to chance. Mindless actions, mindless behaviors. In turn, you don't know who you are. You don't know how you've got here and you regret everything. There was a study done and they asked people who were on their deathbed, people who are dying, people who have reached the end of their lives, what do you regret most? And a lot of them say, not living the life that I genuinely knew I could have. Your future is created with every single decision that you make in your life. That's it. That's really all. Every decision that you make, every action that you take, everything that you do day in and day out will produce the results of your future. And that's just how it works. Yes, there is a chance that something miraculous can happen out of nowhere without really having to do anything and your entire life just changes before your eyes completely transforms. That is possible, but what are the chances of that? And are you gonna sit and wait for chance? Are you gonna sit and wait for someone to create a future for you? Are you gonna sit and wait for you know, someone to come and change your life. If that is something that you're willing to do, then go ahead. But the way we do things here is we create opportunities. We seek change. We seek better. We seek growth and we seek more. And because we seek better and because we seek more, we are not going to reach the end of our lives and think, holy crap, how did I get here? Because we've made the conscious decision every single day. We've been conscious, doing things consciously to get the results that we have. A lot of you guys are waiting for chance. A lot of you guys have left your future and you left your destiny and have given it up to other people by doing what other people tell you to do, by doing what other people tell you is right. This is what you should do. Why? Because that's what everyone has done. You leave your future up to all of the things that you've experienced in your life. You leave your future up to habits that you've accumulated over the years as shitty as they are that is what you leave your future up to until you start to make the conscious decision if you don't create a and design a future for yourself then someone else will you're either going to be you know excited for the future or you're going to be fearful of the future you get to decide whether you're excited for it or if you're fearful based on the image that you create for yourself and if you don't create one for yourself then you are going to wake up one day and say what the heck why do you guys think midlife crisis are a thing it's literally because people live life without making conscious decisions without moving towards something without having a goal jim ron put it in such a beautiful way he said the future is a promise but with every promise there is a price to pay if you design your promise of the future clear and well it doesn't matter your circumstances it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter your race or your religion you can have it all because the price to pay then becomes a few courses reading a few books practicing some skills being disciplined with consistency and putting time and effort into something it's not that you don't have have the money and the resources and the tools it's because you don't have a strong enough vision of your future you don't have a strong and clear vision and a strong and clear reason you see as human beings we don't have any reason to do anything unless there is a desire we don't have a reason to move a limb if there isn't a desire in there for us your desire might be there you might know what you want but you don't do it 
because you don't have a strong enough reason. You don't have a strong enough vision. With every single dream, with every single change, with with anything that you decide to do, whether it's good or bad, it comes with a price. There's gonna be obstacles, there's gonna be failures, but if your reason and your vision is strong enough, the price is easy to pay. The price becomes very small. If you're not setting goals, reaching, stretching, becoming, then what is your life? it becomes meaningless. Time will pass whether you like it or not, but it's up to you what you do, who you become, where you go, all of that is up to you. If you feel like you don't have control over your life, if you feel like you don't have the ability to take control of your life, then this is what I want you to do. Reflect on your life. Reflect on what you do every single day pay attention and become the observer of yourself and you'll come to realize that it's not your circumstances, it's not God, it's not the people around you, it's not the weather, but it is you. There are some things that you can do right now to better your life. And I asked this in my Rewrite Your Story program. I've asked the girls, what is it that you can do right now to better your life? They gave me a list of things that they could do right now where they are. You don't need the cars and the house and the equipment and all that. You just need to put your foot in the door. You just need to start. And when you start, that's where all the magic happens. It's making that decision and taking that first step. So become the observer of yourself, of yourself. Start holding yourself accountable. Become consciously aware of who you are and what you do. And you'll notice there is so many areas in your life where you can improve, where you can become better. And that is the first step. You don't have to know your purpose in life. You don't have to know your reason for existing, your why, what you want to do for the rest of your life. All you have to do is take the first step in a direction, in a direction that you chose consciously. If you don't have a direction, then you are lost. Literally, if you don't have a direction, then you are lost. So how can you give yourself a direction? Where do you begin? And that is what we will be talking about today. So the first thing you need to do is to create your promise. You need to create a direction. Without a promise, you will live someone else's promise. Without a promise, you will live by chance and that is no way to live. You just want to create a direction, somewhere to start. So ask yourself, what do I want? One of the most common Common con comments that I get or just questions in the DMs is I don't know what I want. I don't know which direction I want to go in. I don't know what I want to do. And the thing is, we're really not meant to know. We're meant to discover it. We're meant to figure it out. We're meant to figure it out as we go. And we're not always going to want the same things. We're going to have different eras of our life. And in those different eras, we're going to want different things. You just have to pick a direction and go and you learn as you go you discover more about yourself as you go i had no idea that i would be doing what i did today when i first made my promise when i first decided i was going to take control of my life and i was going to create a vision for myself i had no idea and that is okay but i know that if i didn't start i wouldn't be able to level up and unlock the person that i needed to be in order to do what i do today so you have to think of life as kind of almost like a video game okay you start you start your journey you get to a level you level up you unlock a character you move forward you've gained experience you've gained knowledge you've gained skill you've gained power usually in video games you've gained some sort of uh, superpower some new power you've unlocked something and you keep leveling up when you ask yourself that question it doesn't have to necessarily be career or what you want to do for work but what type of lifestyle do you want it can be i want to live in Dubai and be successful. I want to become financially independent. I want to work from wherever I please. I want to live a healthy lifestyle. I want to be fit. I want to travel the world and do seminars and inspire people. What type of feelings do you want to have? How do you want to feel? I don't want to feel shitty anymore. You also want to create that anti-vision. So you want to create your vision and then your anti-vision. And it's usually a lot more easy for us to create an anti-vision. What do you not want? I don't want to feel crappy about myself anymore. I don't want to not be able to play with my kids you know, because I'm unfit and I'm unhealthy. I don't want to live life worrying about money. I don't want to continue 
being sad whatever it is like what do you not want and then what do you want don't think too hard about it it's not that deep just ask yourself where can i begin and if you know what you want that's great if you create this image of your future for yourself which is what i did this is what i want to do this is exactly who i want to be this is exactly what i want to do i did this thing that i like to call rewriting your story which is basically scripting and it's writing exactly who i want to be exactly where i want to go what type of skills do i want to have what type of work do i want to be doing that is what i did for myself but if you don't know exactly what you want to do how do you want to feel how do you want to look how do you want to show up in the world what could make your life better how can you level up ask yourself that question sit with that question it might take a day for you to figure it out it might take you a week for you to figure out but just know don't put too much pressure on yourself because that want is going to change again and again and again, month after month after month, sometimes year after year. Have a reason. Ask yourself, why do I want these things? You know, why do I want these things? As humans, like I said, we don't do anything unless there is a desire, unless there is a reason for us to do so. And so a lot of you guys say you guys struggle with consistency and discipline, but it's not that you're lazy. It's not that you struggle with consistency. It's not that you lack discipline. It's because your reason is not strong enough. It's not that you don't have the money. It's because your reason is not strong enough. If you give yourself a why, if you give yourself a reason for your vision, for your goals, and you remind yourself of it often, it helps when you're going through those changes. It helps when you don't wanna do the work. It helps when things get hard. It helps when things get difficult. Give yourself a reason and a why and make sure that it's strong. Now your promise becomes steps. If you think about goals, if you think about achieving anything, it all comes down to steps. It all, it always gets broken down. It's just a bunch of steps. It's all just a bunch of little behaviors that you do every single day that build up to help you get that result. That is all that it is. As big as your dream is, if it's I want to be a millionaire, I wanna be living in Dubai, I wanna be successful, I want everyone to know who I am, that is a big dream, right? People would say, oh, that is so huge, that is so big, and it can feel overwhelming. Whatever your vision is, it can feel overwhelming, but all it is is a bunch of little steps. And so now you know what you want your future to look like. Now it becomes steps to take. Daily actions, no matter how big or small they are, no matter how huge your promise is, all it takes is making sure that your decisions that you make every single day are aligned with your promise. That is it, that is all. You can tell me a list of things that you want out of life and then you can also tell me in the same sentence, in the same breath, yeah, I wanna do this, this, that, and that, but I don't know where to start. I don't know how to start a business. I don't know, I don't, I don't have the money to do it. You turn your dreams and goals into a bunch of problems. If you say, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, yeah, Bajra, I wanna do this, but I don't have the money, but I've never done that before. I don't know anyone who's done it. Are you actually making the decision to do the thing? Absolutely not. And you're just gonna go back to default setting Behja. You're gonna go back to that default setting. You're gonna go back to all that you've ever known. You're gonna go back to being who you've always been. And that is not the goal. That is not what we want to do, okay? Your problems only exist because you lack the ability to come up with solutions. You don't lack anything but ideas, okay? Oh, I don't have enough money. That's not a problem. The problem is you lack ideas on how to make money. That's it. That's all. Money is everywhere, right? There's not a lack of money in the world. If there is a lack of money in the world, I'd understand, oh, there's no more money in the world. So, of course, you can't get money, right? Come up with solutions. Instead of sitting and worrying, and here's the thing, worrying is our default setting, okay? Because our brains want to keep us safe, so it's natural and it's normal. But now that you know that, the next time you start worrying, tell yourself, hey, hey, hey we're not gonna spend too much time worrying. Instead, we're gonna ask ourselves, how can I make more money? How can I build this e-commerce business that I wanna build? Because you can say, I want to build an e-commerce business and then say, oh, well, I don't know. I don't have the money to, to build the e-commerce business. You're not going to fool anyone. You don't have the money, so you can't build the e-commerce business. But instead, ask yourself, how can I make the money? 
so I can start my e-commerce business. Start freelancing. Freelancing, you don't have to put money into freelancing. Learn a skill, sell that skill set. You have to understand that coming up with solutions is a skill, okay? You have to learn. You have to learn to come up with solutions. You have to learn to think and come up with ideas and not worry because you can only put your attention in one place. You worry, you get more reasons to worry. You think of ways to make more money, but your mind just opens up to many, many ways to make money. It'll give you a million ways. One of the best ways to become successful and to succeed is to make coming up with solutions a habit. Stop worrying. Instead, spend that time coming up with solutions. Remember, our decisions are what shapes our future. You either make the decisions that are aligned with your vision or you move through life making decisions subconsciously, decisions that are memorized, actions and habits that are memorized. And so you have to become intentional with how you spend your day. You have to become intentional with every single thing that you do, every single action that you take. You have to learn to shift your thoughts because your body is only an instrument of the mind and your mind will always do what it knows. It'll always do what it knows. So you have to become intentional and you have to say, listen, we're going to switch things up. Normally I would do this, but today I'm going to do this because I have a goal to hit. That's how you have to, that's exactly what you have to do actually. Now, if your goal is to lose weight, I'm not telling you that you can never go out and eat. And that one decision that you make to go out and eat at a restaurant and eat like a pig is going to mess up your entire progress but you have to become conscious of those things those destructive behaviors that you had you have to become intentional with it today i'm gonna eat like crap you know we're celebrating so today i'm gonna eat that cake you can do that as long as you're intentional as long as you have strategy and you don't do that every single day you know what i mean whereas before you might do that every single day and you know move through life without being conscious so use strategy like 20 out of 80 you eat 80 percent healthy all the time and you know let loose 20% of the time. Really, all you have to do is take your big, huge goals and break it down into small, digestible steps. And it's only a matter of time before you reach it. Now, while you move towards your goal, there's gonna be so many challenges, so many difficulties. All promises come with a price. Discipline, limiting beliefs, self-sabotage, all of these things will emerge. In order for you to really do great things, you have to do the hard work. You have to do the things that everyone else is not willing to do. If it was easy, everyone would have a six pack. But what percent of the country is obese? A big percentage. You have to be willing to do the tedious work, the hard work, the painful work. You're gonna have to get up every single time you fall and try again. You have to get over fears. You have to get over the obstacles. You have to get over a lot. It's difficult. Every promise has a price to pay. It is not easy, and I've said this on my channel so many times. The concept is easy. The steps are easy. It seems easy, but it is extremely difficult to do, but you have to do it. And if you're not willing to do it, then this isn't the video for you. If you're not willing to do it and take action, this isn't the place for you. You have to learn to do things even when your emotions get in the way. Oh, I don't feel like doing it today. Well, guess what? You have to do it. We all face hardships, right? We all have hard times. We all have obstacles and you're going to have to pay the price regardless. But if you're moving in a direction and you're moving towards a goal, you have something to look forward to. Whereas before, it's like you're facing all these hardships and all these problems and you're not even getting anything in return. You don't know which direction you're going in. You feel lost. You feel unsatisfied. You lose. That's, that's really all there is to it. That's really all there is for me to say is you lose. Hardships are a part of every single journey. Hardships are inevitable. You cannot escape them but what you can do is learn to deal with them better you just have to seek that which leads me to my next idea which is focus on increasing personal value and personal development you want to set goals that'll make something of you when you reach a goal the goal itself doesn't really matter the goal itself it's like it's cool yeah like yay i hit this goal but what matters is the person that you've become the experiences that you had the people that you've met the knowledge you've obtained all the lessons that you've learned 
learn, those become more valuable. That's what will get you far in life. That's what will allow you to keep hitting more successes and that's what will allow you to get more opportunities, more doors will open, is because now you have more value. When you have more value, the world sees you as more valuable as well. Stop setting goals that don't require as much. Stop setting goals that don't push you, that don't allow you to stretch and learn and fail and cry. As human beings, we are meant to expand and grow and learn. That is what life is all about. And if you're not willing to grow, then God is going to give you something that will push you to grow always and always. And if you're not strong enough in your mind to understand that, even if it's a hardship, even if it's like a big bang in your life and you're not strong enough in your mind to know that, yo, this is because I was too comfortable, you're going to go down a rabbit hole. You're going to hit rock bottom again and again and again. And you're just going to think, oh, I just might not have the best of luck. When in reality, you're supposed to find opportunities within everything. You cannot have more than what you have if you're not willing to become more than you are. And the opposite is true. You can have more than what you have if you're willing to become more than you are. Jim Ron once said, income does not exceed personal development. If you don't meet it where it's at, it's going to meet you where you are. He was talking about income, which income is super important, okay? Being able to support yourself and making money is extremely important. If you're able to reach financial freedom, that gives you so much freedom. That opens up even more opportunities for you. And so if that is something that you're willing to reach and something that you want, then you have to realize that it is going to meet you where you are unless you grow and reach it to where it's at. And that is how everything else in life works. You have to grow yourself to reach it because it'll always meet you where you are. In life, you do not get what you want, you get what you are, okay? Unless you become someone who is deserving of the thing that you want, it does not care that you want it. It does not matter that you want it. It doesn't even matter that you need it. Unless you start taking necessary steps, the doors will remain closed. Unless you knock, it'll remain closed. The opportunities will never appear if you don't seek it. You really have to seek because the seeker is deserving. Set the intentions and move towards that thing and God will make a way. But you have to become deserving of it. You have to help yourself first because no one else will help you. Personal development and personal growth is where all the beautiful things really lie and happen. People always ask me, Baja, how do I change my self-image of myself? How do I become more confident? How do I like myself more? How do I love myself more? All of that, the way that you see yourself and you view yourself comes from the actions and the behaviors that you take. You have to do the hard things. You have to do the hard things. You have to push yourself. And that is how you build more confidence. And that is how you love yourself more. That is how you become just a better version of yourself. You have to have new experiences, new ways of thinking, and new ways of feeling. It's by doing new things and pushing yourself and trying. Here's what's very interesting. You can do all the right things but still lose in the end. And that is because you have to know and you have to understand that you are not in full control of everything. Yeah. And you're going to save yourself a lot of disappointment when things don't go the way that you planned and hoped. So we live in a world where we don't truly, that we truly don't understand fully, right? You can plant all the seeds and then this huge thunderstorm, this huge hurricane comes and destroys the everything and takes everything. And because of that, you lose everything. You don't have control over the weather. It's not that you didn't do the work. It's not that you didn't put in the work. You don't have control over the weather. And that's just that. But what you do have control over is how you respond to the situation and if you prepared for moments like that or not. We cannot be naive, okay? We can't sit here and say, oh, if we, you know, plan and we create our promise, it has to work out exactly how I planned. No, no, no. Because the laws of the universe in general, first of all, like does attract like, so you do get what you are, you do get what you've become, but there is one law of the universe and everything else is a sub law and that law is the law of God is, okay? Nothing happens without God's will. Nothing happens that isn't a part of God's decree. 
So if you do all the right things and it doesn't work out for you or everything is just snatched away from you and taken away from you, you won, okay? Understand that you did win regardless because you did all the right things. You learned a lot. You've experienced a lot. You can leverage that to do better, okay? And that is why growth mindset is so important. It's important to look for opportunities in everything. Every single one of us is going to be tested with hardships. Every single one of us is going to have things go God's way. And it might not feel like the best way, but we as Muslims know that God's way is the best way, right? Allah's plan is the greatest plan. And you have to know that. You have to understand that you are under God's plan. Always, always, always. And you have to be okay with it. If you're not okay with it, go create your own world. If you're not okay with how this universe works, this world works, go make your own. Exactly. The moment you start moving on your own path, the moment you start to do things, not because everyone else tells you to, but because that is your promise that you created for yourself, you are stepping into the unknown. You are stepping into uncertainty. And that is something that holds a lot of people back. You cannot measure the results. You cannot measure when you're going to hit that goal, when that thing is going to come into your life. You can't. That is just something that is out of our hands and out of our control. And that is why who you become is extremely important. You want to have strong faith. You want to understand your strengths and your weaknesses you want to become stronger you want to learn how to deal with hardships better you want to learn how to start over again and again and again and be okay with it you have to learn how to respond in the best way because your response will shape your future once that hurricane hits and all your seeds are gone just snatched away from you how will you respond that is where the question lies. That is where your future lies. How will you respond? Something that is just so helpful is to document your journey, take notes, and become a student, okay? Life could be your classroom. Become a student, learn, take notes, document your journey because that will keep you motivated and that will keep you excited. You've lost all of your seeds, right? But now you know how to build something from the ground up because you've already been through it, you've already experienced it. You know what to do and you know how to do it better and probably faster now. If you document your journey, you are gonna learn a lot about yourself. You're gonna learn a lot about life and it's just gonna, it's just, it just motivates you more, it makes you more excited because you see the progress that you've made. When I started my journey, I documented everything on TikTok. I recorded everything, all of the habits that I wanted to build, are, which now are just habits that I do every single day without much effort without much willpower but documenting it was exciting it made it more exciting it made it more fun it made it easier when the things got hard because it's like oh look at all those days that i showed up for myself look at all those days where i hit the gym when i didn't want to hit it if you document your journey you will learn a lot about yourself you can document it on camera you can document it through a journal and plus, I highly recommend to keep a journal as well. Successful people journal, okay? Yes, it's cringy, it's corny. You don't ha it doesn't have to be a diary, you know? It doesn't have to be dear diary. My journal is where I set all my goals. My journal is where I document all the places I've gone wrong, all the things I've done right, all the things I could have been better at, conversations that I've had with people that impacted me, things that I learned that have impacted me. And there's so much more. It's funny because I've learned so much and I'm constantly seeking out knowledge, which is another thing. Learn, 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 learn. Learn about finances. Learn about economics. If you wanna make more money, if you struggle with making money, learn about money. It only makes sense. It only makes sense. It only makes sense. If you want to walk, you've got to learn how to walk. Learn about law, learn how to defend yourself. You don't have to become a lawyer, just learn how to defend yourself. Learn a new skill, learn about emerging technology, learn about your health. If you wanna lose weight, learn how. You really have to seek out knowledge and ugh, it just pisses me off. It just, it just really frustrates me. Learn a skill, 
People will pay you for what you know. Develop yourself because you will become more valuable. You'll become more valuable in the market. You'll become more valuable to other people. But that is all that I have for you guys. I just want to wish you guys the best luck on your journey. I'm always here for you guys. There will be more videos to come. I'm so excited to just get all of my ideas out there. I really hope that it does make a difference in your life and that you gain the most out of it because I know that it is something that has absolutely changed my life. Everyone thinks, oh, it's so easy for Bajra. It's so easy for Bajra. But no one knows all the little things that I did every single day that were challenging, the things I had to overcome. Get a grip, okay? Hold yourself responsible. Take accountability, and I promise your life will change. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,